Hello everybody, I want to show you the Halloween pumpkin that they sell at Costco. Uh, this is available on their website for 35 bucks. Whenever they have these out on the floor, they sell, uh, they sell really quick. So it's hard to find them in store sometimes, but they will deliver them to you. Uh, this is the 2018 model. The 2019 model looks even better. The 2019 includes the sound and motion control. This one only does motion or solid on. The 2019, the new one, will do flickering lights, sound in motion. Looks like an all in all better pumpkin. Uh, unfortunately, these take four uh, C size batteries. And people hardly ever have those around. And who wants to buy those? And it's kind of a shame that nowadays that they don't include a plug in the back where you can add an adapter. But the cool thing is that the Four C size batteries hooked up in series is six volts. So if you can find a six volt adapter, which they happen to have at Spirit Halloween, which all their stuff that I've seen runs on six volt transformers, I've drilled a hole and soldered it to the leads inside. So my pumpkin doesn't have to run on batteries at all. I hook it up on my porch and let it roll. So oh, I can turn it on here to, let's see, I'll turn it on to motion control. Right now it's set to be solidly on. All right, it's gonna run through its motion for a minute here. All right, so its motion sensor works fine in the daytime, but let's turn off the light. Okay, I have the lights off and I have my cell phone light just for a little bit of ambient light because this motion sensor will not work in pitch dark, but you never have pitch dark because it's, it'll be on your porch with some lights on or blinking lights or whatnot. So let me walk by with a little bit of ambient light here. And it just did pick me up. All right, so let's open this thing up and I'll show you how I made it work on a transformer. Okay, I removed the four screws from the back. So now we can pull this out. All right, you can see here where the motion sensor connects right here and they have it hot glued together. So that's not a big deal. We can leave that connected for now. Uh, so let's pull apart this contraption here. There's a few levers. I'm just gonna pop them. Just kind of, remember, kind of remember how this is oriented, because it will have to put it back the same way. So, what I did was I pulled the cord through from the six volt transformer, and then I cut the leads, the red and black leads here, that go to the board to power it. I cut it, and uh, I didn't have any solder at the time, but I did have these wire nuts. So I just stripped the cables and wired it. Uh, let's see, typically there's a little white line. There's two of these, well, the two black lines here. One will be marked with a little, little faint white line. And I connect that to the red line. And the solid black line goes to the solid black. So that's easy to remember. Solid black to solid black. Little white line to the red. And what's... Probably the most important part here is to tie a knot. Tie a knot in the uh, in the cord right here. That's the, where the knot is bigger than the hole that you drilled to get this line through. So if someone kicks the line or whatnot, the knot stops the line from pulling completely out and stripping these 
these wire and stripping the cable right out of the wire nuts. So that's easy, non-solder way to do this. Attach it back. And we'll get this thing connected back up and it is good to go. No more batteries. I see batteries are way too expensive and so wasteful. Okay, so that's the Halloween pumpkin from Costco. So I really like this a lot. I see a few people in the neighborhood with them. They've been pretty popular. So if you see one in the store, grab one while you can or order one on Costco website. All right, happy Halloween, y'all.